So how do uh, Steve and I work together? How do we put together an album such as Mistress of the Gods? What usually happens when I receive uh, a demo from Steve, I, I get an email, I get a note, in this case, uh, in these cases, a note letting me know this is what I would like the song to be about or this is what I have a, a feeling about or for. Uh, I get throwaway lyrics, what we call throwaway lyrics, Mary Had a Little Lamb lyrics. Uh, <laughs> it's just for me uh, uh, to hear uh, how Steve is phrasing um, the words so I can, uh, I can understand what I got to work with in terms of uh, syllables and beats. He works in beats, I work in syllables. Um, it's, you know, he uses notes, I use words. This is the same thing, we're working in beats. Um, and I'll get a demo of music, uh, the song, which pretty much contains what I'll hear in, in, in the final product. I mean, Steve is pretty amazing that way. I'll get a pretty polished demo um, that gives me the emotional range of the music, the drama uh, of the music, and the dynamics of the music. I'm listening for the drama. I'm listening for the emotional drama that Steve is playing out in the music. If you've listened to Airs or, well, if you've listened to any of Steve's music, Steve's music is, is very dramatic and very cinematic. Um, so the emotion, the emotion I'm listening, I get from instrument choice, tone, um, momentum, uh, how he's placing his vocal phrasing on top of the music. And then I'm listening for the, the, the dynamic range. That gives me the cinema. You know, is it a kitchen sink drama? Is it a Western, a wide open plane? Are we in space, you know, are we in the closed confines of space? What am I dealing with in terms of uh, the mise en scene or, the, you know, the, uh, uh, the setting, so to speak? And what I'm trying to say, and what speaks to the album is that you know, don't wait for divine intervention, you know. The quest is lonely. You know, there are, in loneliness, in those lonely deeds, you will find the path. You will find, you know, in, uh, in mountains high and dungeons deep, you will find what is most important to you. So, oh, my notes. Okay, so lastly, so what's next? What's next for Brockman Andre? Well, there is, there is, are, those other songs. This, we have another album that is, the lyrics are written. Um, I just explained how we work together. So you know the demos are, are pretty, pretty well far along, pretty polished. Um, so that's just awaiting production. We have, we've written a Christmas song. We have um, that long lost album. Uh, I don't even know. If the guy ever gets out of prison, maybe he'll contact Steve and I don't know, maybe we can wrestle it away from them. And, uh, do something with it ourselves. Uh, and there's something called Curious Local Plumbers. Curious Local Plumbers. I gotta hand it to Steve. I mean, the man can come up with, for English not being his native language, can come up with the titles. Um, so, We've got that, uh, and let's see. Oh, and maybe, just maybe, one last rock opera. We're kind of going back and forth on it. We've been talking about it. We'd like to do it.
before we become 100 years old. And it's going to be Christmas based. It's going to be a kind of Dickensian uh, Christmas Carol like story of a inventory clerk who when Christmas Eve is alone and taking inventory of his life. So you got that to look forward to. That's it. Mistress of the gods. Mistress of the gods.